Hello and welcome. In this video, we will explain how you can remove duplicates using Excel VBA. This is especially useful when you have to do this on a regular basis on a large number of data. On the sheet, you see the country and corresponding region our employees have traveled over the year. We are interested to find all different places our employees have traveled to. So we will remove all duplicate values. We will copy paste this table three times and turn the last one into a table object in Excel. We do this to show how to remove duplicates in a range and a table object and to show what happens when you have slight differences in your code. To create a table object, we select the last table, click on insert, table and OK. Under table design, you can now change the table's name. Here we choose country region. This will be used in the coding. To open VBA, you navigate to developer and select Visual Basic. If the developer tab isn't part of the ribbon, we first have to include this. To do so, you can navigate to file, options and customize ribbon, or you just move your arrow to the ribbon, right click and select customize the ribbon. On the right side, you can check the box next to developer to make this tab appear in the ribbon. So we check the box and press OK. The developer tab is part of the ribbon now. So we select it and next click on Visual Basic. Now the VBA code opens. We have already prepared a code called remove dupes range and remove dupes table. Remark that we have written this code into a module. To open a new one, you navigate to Insert and select Module. Here you can start typing your code. Now we are ready to go through the code. First we see what to do to remove duplicates in a range. Next we go to the Remove Dubs table to see how you can remove duplicates in a table object. The first thing we do in the Remove Dubs range function is to initialize the variables used. We have ranges 1 representing the range of country and region starting in cell A1. The second range represents the range of country and region starting in cell D1. Remark that current region returns the range of all adjacent cells to the given range, so here the entire table. Finally, range 3 starts in cell G1 and selects all cells below, so here we have the entire country column. Next we remove the duplicates in each range. We call the remove duplicates function on our range, we specify in which column the duplicates should be removed, and we have a header in our range, so we set this to Excel yes. Before running the function, we copy the tables down to see what changed after running the code. Let's run the function now to see what exactly happens. To run the code, you navigate to developer and select macros. Here you select the function you want to run. At the moment, it is remove dubs range and you press run. In range 1, the duplicate values in the country column are searched for and those duplicate rows are deleted. The region next to the first found entry is kept in these cases. You can see this by observing the row of Belgium. West is kept as this is the first entry next to Belgium. In range 2, the unique combinations of country and region are withheld. Initially, we had the same combinations twice, once UK North and once the Netherlands South. As you see, these combinations are only once in the table after running the code. Finally, in range 3, only duplicate values in the country column are removed without any impact on the region column. This is the case since we only selected the country column as range 3. The second code we prepared is for the table object. To remove the duplicate values from there, we first initialize the worksheet and the list object. Next, we set the worksheet equal to sheet 1, which is the sheet containing our data. And we set the list object equal to country region, which is the name that the table received. Finally, we remove the duplicate values in exactly the same way as for the range. We call the function remove duplicates with the column we want. Here we choose both column 1 and 2. And again, we have a header, so we set this to Excel yes. Remark that we call the function remove duplicates not directly on the list object, but on the range. 
So at the start of the line, we type tbl.range. We run the function to see if everything works. As you can see, this code indeed works as expected. This concludes our tutorial on removing duplicates in Excel using Visual Basic. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. Be sure to subscribe if you want to watch more Excel or software related tutorials. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.